everyone welcome back to my channel today we're just going to play with makeup I'm going to do a makeup tutorial I still don't know exactly what I'm going to do I picked some products and I'm sure you're going to love it so if you want to hang out with me for a little bit and just play with makeup then keep on watching I'm going to be honest with you I started to using all of my makeup um, my makeup kit products because I'm not working and I have a feeling that some of them are going to start going bad if I don't use them so I'm just going to take that as an excuse and just play with them so I'm going to spray my face with this hangover spray from Too Faced this, I really love it and I love to just like drench the face in that and it just gives me a lot of hydration before starting makeup and this is the thing that I always use in my clients and I don't know why I don't use it a lot on myself I really should get one for myself because it smells so good and today I'm going to use this uh, foundation this is the old school studio fix MAC foundation because I am quite pale at the moment but I don't really no one shade of foundation I am anymore. I haven't been out in the sun, so I'm like as pale as I can be. Well, I probably can be more pale though. So this is an NC15, and I'm going to apply it in my hand because I want to mix it a few drops of the rosehip oil. This is Mario Adescu. I'm going to mix it in the back of my hand. I'm going to be using a brush for this. And look, I didn't really love this foundation. I always felt that it was very dry on my skin. But I find out that when I mix it with the oil, it actually is pretty good. Like, I actually like it. It still looks like skin. It is a little bit matte for my ideal look, but you can always make it a little bit more dewy with a primer or um, highlight. And you're going to be able to see that when I apply this foundation, it looks very, very light on me. But then when I finish, it's like, oh, you're you're that pale. I'm like, yep, I am. But what I am going to do is I'm going to use one of these little samples. This one is from Mecca. And this is the Kevin Aquan foundation in I can't read. This is a sample and this is the color FB08. And I love this foundation to kind of um contour my face. I'm going to show you that in a minute, but it works so good that I think I'm going to buy the whole foundation just to contour my face. It's very natural though. It's, it's just like a darker shade of foundation. <laughs> the video that I really wanted to film for you guys is a how to double cleanse, but I wasn't really using any makeup today and I didn't want to like do my makeup and just take it off. So I thought it would be a good idea to just film the makeup as well. Okay, that's foundation done. Look how natural it looks. Like, it covers actually pretty good my pigmentation, but it still looks very natural. I'm really, like, loving that right now. It's still a little bit matte for me, but we can live with that. I'm going to use now a concealer, and I've been using this Jower concealer, and I think I haven't been in love with a concealer like this one in so, 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 so long. It's like Shape Tape and the NARS concealer had a baby and just, you know, it's better. That's the only way I can describe it. And I'm going to mix probably one drop of the oil as well because I am feeling pretty dry. And I actually put two drops. I think two drops was a lot, but okay. I'm going to just apply what was left with my finger and just top it in with my brush. I haven't been able to understand how can I just like use a mirror and have the camera to focus on me and not the freaking mirror. If any of you know that, please let me know because it drives me crazy. And because it's a little bit matte, I'm going to spray this again. <sighs> it smells so good. And while it dries, I'm going to open this foundation that I'm telling you. This is the Kevin Aquan. And it's just a sample, but look, I use it in such a specific places of my face that like I feel this is going to last me for a long time. It has actually way longer than probably it should. It looks horrible. Shouldn't show that. And I'm just going to take a little bit here. I only use this on myself though. And I'm just going to start blending this. 
as my contour and as you can see it's very very natural this is kind of like the color I would have if I actually bronzed so I feel that that's why it looks so natural at least in my mind and just a little bit around the nose to make everything come together a little bit and I really miss having a mirror here just because I get really upset when this when the camera focuses on the uh, damn mirror okay we're done here I'm going to do my eyes last because I want to show you this amazing eyeshadow that I found this is completely new to me it's so quickly you're not going to believe it it actually it's actually called the 10 seconds eyeshadow it's literally 10 seconds I'm going to just bronze a little bit my skin this is the Tom Ford skin illuminating powder duo you guys so beautiful I'm going to use the bronzer here it's not really a bronzer though but you know it works oh. isn't this the most beautiful thing you've ever seen like in your life and I'm going to use the other one the light one a little bit as a highlighter everywhere for my blush I'm going to be using this uh, palette from Becca I'm using everything shiny now I'm going to use this color over here I'm using everything like in a highlighter form just because I feel like the foundation is so matte that I really need that shine Ooh, that was about fix it fix it oh my god I love that hack I don't know what my life would be without that literally don't know I always feel like I apply too much blush that's kind of like my thing like applying too much not wearing too much I like that I like that I'm, I'm actually liking this I wasn't not up to doing my makeup but it's going well this is like way faster than I thought it was going to be can you see how the Tom Ford Illuminating Duo it leaves my skin as if I have a filter? <gasps> I really need to do my brows now because so I'm just going to fill them in a little bit. Just a few hair strokes with this MAC pencil. By the way, everything is in the description, you already know that. I don't know, am I the only one that like can you see? Don't look at my nails, just look at the this thing. Why? I don't know if it's because I'm not very careful, but I don't get it. Because I have another one that doesn't have anything. And just a little bit of soap. I'm really liking this um like part of the precisely my brow from Benefit, this fully to put my uh, soap in my brows. I don't know why I feel it's different than a regular spoolie what I've been using <laughs> I feel like I have such different eyebrows today like this one is so lifted and this one is so <gasps> it's happening let's try to fix that what the hell and just stop lifting this eyebrow I'm going to zoom you in so you can see this eyeshadow technique that it's just so quickly <laughs> so this is the product it is from Cosas and it's called the 10 second eyeshadow it's very very liquidy I was very afraid at first you're just going to apply it directly to your eyes I'm not going to do that because this is not mine but basically you just apply it directly to your eyelid with the sponge and it blends so easy are you seeing this? how do you say that? are you watching this? you can't understand how much I love this product this is not mine but as soon as the store opens I'm going to buy probably one because I think it's quite expensive I mean for a, a single eyeshadow but I will use this every day I think you can even blend it with your finger like it's that easy and I'm going to you really don't have to do this I've tried it before and you 
don't have to do it it doesn't crease but I'm going to use this eyeshadow this is a L'Oreal one it's one of those new like really high-end L'Oreal things they it's just a single eyeshadow but it's and it's basically the same color and I write I like to just set it a little bit in the outer corners so it darkens just a tiny bit and same in the inner corner but I'm first going to be doing both eyes same in the inner corners you don't have to do this you can use the liquid eyeshadow and that's it I just wanted to do it a little bit more a little bit in the crease and then after this I'm going to blend everything with a clean brush and that's basically it or maybe I feel a little bit extra I, I don't know I really I'm doing this and I'm, I think I'm forgetting that I'm actually taking it all off okay so this is a clean brush now and I'm just going to blend everything those are shadows you guys they're also so good and they're L'Oreal, so they're like a pharmacy. You can find them in the pharmacy and the colors are so beautiful. I clearly messed it up here, but that was me, my fault. So I'm going to try to fix that with a little bit of concealer. This is my face halo. Look at this, how easy was that? Like literally less than 10 minutes. Like this is not a 10 minutes, 10 seconds. <laughs> Now I'm going to use my Becca highlighter. This is in the shade Opal, which is like my favorite. And I'm going to use a tiny bit in a brush. And I want to put it in the inner corners of my eyes because I want them to shine like that. I haven't done a look like this in so long. This looks pretty. And maybe a little bit here. Okay, my camera died for a little bit, but I just did the same thing in the other side. I just put a little bit of the same highlighter and it looks so good. Like, I was not expecting it to be this good. And I'm going to use now the NARS High Pigment Longwear Eyeliner in the shade Last Frontier. And if I can find my mirror. And I'm just going to line my upper lashes. And I'm kind of liking the no bottom makeup look right now. So I'm just going to leave it as it is. I'm not doing an eyeliner, but it does leave my eyelashes looking like I have very thick eyelashes. And who doesn't want that? I feel like I am so like unable to do this with just one hand. Like, I always do that, but because I don't have a mirror that stands by itself. <sighs> it's how clients feel when you do makeup on them. How do you do your eyeliner? <laughs> Let me know that. That was... Okay, so now I'm going to use this Battle Bang from Benefit. I've had this for so long. I just want to finish it. So I'm trying to finish all these little things and all the things that I don't really use, especially now in quarantine, so I can just stick with what I actually love. And I've grown to love this mascara. I have to say that the first time I used it, I hated it. And I kind of understand it now, but it's still not my favorite one. I don't know if it was because it was new, and when it was new, it was so clumpy. But I feel like it doesn't do that anymore. Maybe it's because it's not new, you know, it's not as watery. I have this straight eyelash that does not want to curl. Can you see it? Here? Okay, it's not, is it me or this mascara actually left my eyelashes very good today? Of course, as soon as I said I didn't like it, like at first, it's behaving now, making me look bad. Making me look good, actually. I know I said, a I would leave the bottom as it was, but I was talking about eyeshadow. I will always put mascara whenever I have one in my hand. Everywhere. I really love this look. Like, I was not expecting this. This was such a last minute video and oh, I love it. 
I'm going to do my lips now. I'm going to use this lip liner. This one is a Colombian brand. It's a Colombian brand named V2. It's kind of like a brown, very similar to the shade. I'm going to remove any foundation from my lips. This is kind of like a cinnamon color. And I'm going to just wear a toffee lip gloss from Anastasia. And I really think I shouldn't have done this. I like it better without this. What do you think? With or without this? Let me know in the comments what you think. But hey, this is a complete look. I feel like it makes me look very, like my mouth very big, my lips. Not used to that. Do you like it though? Should I put lip injections? I don't think so. And now I'm going to take this off. Very 90s, that color. That maybe that's why I don't like it. Maybe if I just use this a little bit. No. Okay, we're back. And after a few attempts and like trying different colors and everything, it was kind of hard for me actually. I decided to go with just a natural um, Mac Dervish. This is very similar to the colors of my lips, so I just put it like to define my lip line basically and just an old school lip gloss like MAC lip gloss, it has no color so it's just the color of my lips basically with some gloss on and yeah, that it's all. Let me know in the comments which one you like better. I am really sad that I'm going to just take this off right away, not going anywhere. Oh my god. Okay, you guys, I hope you enjoyed it and see you in the next one. Bye!